As excellent as the Challenger II main battle tank, MBT, has been for the British Army, the system has its design roots back in the 1990s and entered service in 1998, seeing its only combat action in the Iraq War of 2003. Oman joined the British in operating the type leading to fewer than 450 being built. With decades having gone by since the inception of the machine in its original form, thought has now been given to a direct successor, this becoming the all-modern, and appropriately named, Challenger 3, CR3. Rather than invest in an all-new product, the Army has instead opted to upgrade, modernize the existing Challenger 2 stock into the CR3 standard by way of LIFE extension, LEX, program. The program will introduce an all-new turret as well as feature modifications of the Challenger 2 hull to make for a more viable, fighting machine designed to meet the rising threats of the evolving search battlefield. The upgrade is being designed by a joint venture between the Germans and the British, resulting in the Rheinmetall BAE Systems Land RBSL, brand label. Facilities will begin the production effort in 2027. BAE Systems and Rheinmetall initially submitted separate LEX entries in 2018 and 2019, respectively, until the two concerns merged soon after to make the decision that much simpler for British authorities. As it stands currently, 2022, the CR3 will be a 73-ton, short, largely conventional armored vehicle driven by a single engine with a traditional track and wheel arrangement. Internally, the tank will retain an operating crew of four made up of the driver, commander, gunner, and loader. The driver will reside at his usual hull center placement with the remaining crew stationed in the 360-degree, traversable turret, the power pack is installed at the rear of the hull. Externally, the tank is expected to be protected by a new generation armor application for enhanced crew and system survivability in modern warfare. This includes the proven Israeli Raphael Trophy Active Protection System APS, for real-time support against inbound anti-tank, guided missiles, ATGMs, and rocket-propelled grenades RPGs. Drive power will be handled by a Perkins CV-12-9 AV-12 diesel-fueled engine of unknown horsepower output. This will be mated to a David Brown Engineering DBE, TN54E epicyclic transmission system with six forward and two reverse gears. The chassis will be suspended atop a Horseman 3rd Gen Hyroga's suspension system to promote off-road cross-country travel. At the heart of the tank will be the German Rheinmetall 120mm L55A1 smoothbore main gun offering excellent penetration at range and accuracy with digital systems controlling, firing on the move. This is a departure from the Challenger 2's original, an excellent, 120mm L30A1 rifled main gun. The L55A1 is the same modernized version as found on German Leopard 2 MBTs, which should promote logistical friendliness between two of the top NATO players in Europe. The British Army expects to procure a total stock of 148 of the vehicles with initial operating capability IOC, planned in 2027 and full operational capability FOC, to be has in or around 2030.